Hey gang, day 40 on the carnivore diet, day two of our 48 hour fast and it's 7.25 in the morning right now. I got up about 45 minutes ago, made some black coffee and I'm telling you right now, I just leaned on the counter and I'm staring at that cup of coffee and I almost gave in and put cream in it. I, you know, I didn't wake up really hungry this morning, but I just knew I wasn't gonna be able to eat today and my brain's just kind of whining like a big wimp. You know, you can't have any food. It's such a mind game. You know, you talk a big you talk big talk, yeah we're gonna do this fast, yeah we're gonna do that fast, but when you get down to it and you're doing it, it, it it's uncomfortable. You know, I've done it almost three days before. I don't remember it being this tough. So, struggling a little bit. Um, last night, uh, it was maybe 8.30. We had a sink full of dishes from the previous night. And let me just tell you now, do your dishes before you start a fast. Because, you know, there's some leftover food on there. And I, I, it was making me hungry. So, note to self, next fast, make sure all the dishes are done and the kitchen is spotless. So it looks good now, and and I even took note this morning. I'm like, okay, this is the way, this is the way it needs to be. So you know, gosh, you don't get hungry. Just a little scrap of meat on the plate, and I'm looking at it like, or or you know, a little peanut butter that's been on a spoon. It's crazy. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. If you're doing the fast, um, I hope you're faring better than me. I I haven't broke it, but been a little bit of a struggle yeah I remember when I was getting sober um, the director of the program I was at a seven month program you know I, they told me they were gonna put me on calorie restriction because I was so bloated um, from drinking alcohol you know I was drinking hard alcohol every day but he told me they were gonna put me on calorie restriction so I could drop some weight I was pretty big when I went in there and uh, I actually spoke to a dietitian before I went in. I was taking 20,000 calories in liquid calories in alcohol and Red Bull. So I was killing myself, basically. But I'll never forget, this. the, the director of the program, he did like, a, you know, he, he, was a, he was in recovery. He'd been sober 10 years or something. And he did like Ironman uh, competitions. And he told me he fasted, you know, sometimes twice a week. And he said, I'll never forget what he said to me. He slapped me on the back one morning as I'm not eating while everybody else around me is. And he said, Larry, it's really good to be hungry once in a while. And I don't know why that always stuck with me, you know. But it's just, I don't know, this morning staring at the coffee, I just, just contemplating our relationship with food. You know, I haven't eaten in... in a little over 24 hours right now. 36 hours? I don't know. But gosh, what a big baby. You know? Think about people around the world that don't have food every day. Anyway, this, is, this video is for me, guys. You probably stopped it right when it started. Oh, gosh, here he is bitching again. But this video is for me. Um, keep me accountable. So, if you listen all the way to the end, cool. And uh, I wish you all the best. <sighs> Just got to get through today. We can eat tomorrow. I'm going to run to the store in a little while and get some stuff to make bone broth. So we can break our fast. It usually takes me two days to make it. But I'm going to turn that crock pot on high. And uh, hopefully we can have some tomorrow morning. So, I love you all. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.